So first and foremost, uh, learn to take care of yourself. You know, we caregivers forget that. And so if you as a parent are not giving yourself time and space to sort out what you feel, to name it for yourself, to seek comfort in some way, then when you interact with your child, it's noise that interferes with your emotional availability to them. So first, you, you as a parent taking care of an ill child and a well child need that time. It can even be a few minutes. I know how unrealistic it feels when you're taking care of an ill child or a well child after their sibling has died to say, yeah, I'm going to go take two hours and go for a walk. You can't do that. You're on the front lines in a way. But a few minutes is really important or having therapy or speaking to a religious counselor of some sort that or a partner or friends. Um, some people journal, they turn to music, they turn to art, whatever, you know, learning what gives you space to sort out what you feel and solace in letting it out and naming it. So if you do that, it is actually more bearable than we think. We fear feelings. And once we're doing them and feeling them, they're difficult, but they're not unbearable actually. And um, so that's one thing. Secondly, I don't think it's bad to cry in front of your children. I think your children need to see you cry because otherwise like their sibling died and you're not crying. I mean, it's abnormal, right? I mean, and, so, and you're modeling for them that when we're sad, we sometimes cry. Not always, but sometimes we do. And they don't have to cry, but this is one way that you express what you're feeling. The rule of thumb we kind of think about is that you stay several steps less upset than your child. So if you're going to do, and parents who've taken care of an old child are probably familiar with this, with this, this kind of wailing and keening, sobbing that comes when your child dies or is facing death, that you do apart from your child. But if you're talking with your child and you begin to weep, but you can still communicate, that's actually sharing something with them and it teaches that they can share it with you. So then pain shared as pain have, there goes my mother-in-law again, you're bearing it together. Um, so it becomes more tolerable. 